objective number eight is the objective of balance. What that means is that I want to be upright, stable, and in equilibrium, almost like a man floating in the sea with his arms out, his head above the water at all times, not toppling to the left or the right or forward or back or pulling down under my own weight, which I know is a constant thing happening throughout life. We're always being toppled and pushed and pulled and, and uh, oriented in different directions than the way we want to go. I remember once on the Atocha, which was the name of the boat that my dad and his friends owned. Uh, it was a big boat. It was like a trawler. It had a flying bridge up above. And I remember uh, sailing to Catalina Island, or not sailing, but powering to Catalina Island, a power boat, powering to Catalina Island. What kind of was it? I think it was called a trawler. Anyway, my, I was steering the boat. I was up on the flying bridge and I had the wheel and I could see the lights of Avalon dead, dead, dead ahead, the little community out there. Um, Catalina Island, we were headed for Avalon in the early morning. I could see the lights out there. And I was steering the boat and I would turn the wheel to the, to the left to try to bring the boat to aim right on Avalon. And I would there would be a point at Avalon and then the boat would continue a little further and I'd steal the, wor the wheel the other way and the boat would slowly come back, touch Avalon in the direction and then go back and then the other way and it was this constant course correction back and forth and my dad commented about that about how that's how you navigate for the most part this is before really there was any auto navigation um, maybe there was some but we didn't have it on our boat on our ship or whatever it is and he, I couldn't help but ref, rem remember or think about that throughout life how it always seems to be this course correction that's also part of the principle of the balance is, is maintaining the course, pushing to the one way to the left towards whatever goal there is. Now I've added to that the, the I've been disabused of the illusion of free will, which makes things even more interesting because it seemingly seems like we're directing ourselves one way or the other, but it's as seeming as the uh, uh, tongue of water moving its way down a flash flood channel in the desert, simply following the course laid out to it by the conspiratorial forces of um, the universe at large, creating a stream bed that allows the water to angle in a downward path, path towards the sea, or at least the lowest point in the desert. So is our life. So is the effort of balance. It's something I constantly work at. It's like a little incremental effort, just like steering the ship. I can be talking to people and likewise, but I'm still correcting the course, always left and the right trying to keep myself centered on wherever it is that I'm trying to be or whatever it is I'm trying to do or whoever it is I want to become. The principle of balance, the objective of balance that is.